Hey guys, Dave here, back with another episode of FFBE War of the Visions. What's up? In today's episode, I'm going to go over a new event type that was just released on JP. I'm going to show you what the event is, what the rewards are, and how you guys can get prepared for it. But before I do that, a uh, major spoiler alert ahead, guys. Um, if, if you want to see new content ahead of time and get prepared for it, awesome. If you want someone who wants to be surprised, uh, then you know, please stop this video right now because the entire video is a spoiler. Uh, without further ado, let's jump right in. The new event is right here. It's called the Trials of Judgment. The reward for this is the ribbon. So if you've been following the new uh, JP News and you watch the video, uh, the ribbon was a very strong item that protected you against status ailments in FFBE. It was actually one of the best items to get early on and it continued to be good even later in the game. All right, so that was the reward real quick. I'll show you more details on that later. Let's look at what type of event it is. So you start out with quests right here. Um, they're basically just like the story. You go through, they progressively get harder up to unit level 40. You complete the missions, you get those rewards, and then you fill up this bar with achievement points and you get more rewards there. Uh, so there are skip tickets if you want to come back and go through these a little bit later, a little bit quicker, to get more boss challenge tickets. So up here you can see these boss challenge tickets. That's one of two items that you'll get. Uh, in order to challenge the boss, you need those tickets. So you're going to need to repeat challenging these to get more boss tickets. Um, if you can kill the boss the first time, great. If you can't kill the boss the first time, you're going to need multiple versions of that. So again, you, you clear normal and you unlock hard quests right here. Uh, same thing, but they just go up higher in level. And these are limited to three a day or three for the event, I'm not sure. Same with this board down here. I'm not sure if that's going to reset daily. Uh, it's a brand new event, so we'll have to see. So once you've you know gathered up your green tokens, as you can see down here, and then your boss challenge tokens, you can take that on. So I'm going to go and we're going to look at this first because I'm going to go in and actually show you what the boss looks like. So this is very similar to old FFBE uh, raids. You get the tokens from the raid. You come in. There's different boards. We have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, it looks like by the time you've cleared the fourth board, you've gotten most of your good rewards, just like FFBE used to be. Um, so more casual players uh, m might not get to the fifth board but they'll get most of their key items by then. But if you want to make your plus five ribbon, uh, you get the most copies in here, so you're probably going to have to complete most of that. Now let's say, um, oops, <laughs> I want to be careful there. Let's say I already got my ribbons here. Um, I've actually gotten two, so I guess there's five. So once I get all three of those, all this other stuff I can get later. Uh, not a big deal, so I might want to reset that and jump to the next board. When I jump to the next board, I'm going to be able to get the new rare items that are in there um, and maybe get the common items slowly over time for the crafting materials and stuff like that. That way, even if I'm more casual or, or free to play or I have less time, I'm still going to be able to get all the better rewards. But uh, a, a lot of times if you reset and jump to the next one, you're going to lose um, the chance to get those during that event. So be careful how you use that. So let's summon a couple quick times and see what we get. So we've got all crafting materials there. Again, more crafting materials and you know awakening materials. You know, hopefully if we do it enough times, you'll see I can get another ribbon recipe. Here, I've already gotten two. All right, it doesn't want to give me them. Of course, uh, it's Murphy's Law, right? Uh, like a watch pot never boils. So now that I'm trying to show you one, um, it, it's not going to want to come out. It's going to be like one of those absolute last summons. Of course. All right, so we have a couple more tries. There we go. Um, just so you guys see, um, this is how you're going to get some of them, and you'll get some from the boss fight as well. But that's basically how the, the summon for the tokens works. Now let's go into the boss real quick. Uh, so as we're you know taking on the boss right here, um, 
I'll also explain you know how you guys can get ready for this event. All right, so once we clear it, we get these rewards here. Um, there's different thresholds there. I'm not sure what that means. I guess if you can't beat him the first time, like you see here, his hit points are going to drop, but maybe he gets harder to defeat or unlocks new abilities and gets hits you harder um, once he passes these, like the old FFBE battles. Uh, but let's jump right in here so you guys can get a quick look at him. Again, uh, here's my team right here. Not the strongest, uh, but... I only have a couple more minutes before the reset on JP, so I'm going to come in real quick. All right, now this is the map here. It's very similar to the Esper Awakening Trials that we currently have, uh, so nothing really new right there. All right, so as soon as we get up to him, we're going to check out his stats uh, if we have enough time, and then right after that, I want to jump over and show you the stats on the ribbon. So this guy, he is a light boss, so you're going to want a roster of dark units. Um, how do you prepare for that? Well, uh, a lot of you guys, you're only, I guess, like a lot of free-to-play players. You want to save all your resources. You know how grindy, how hard it is to level them up. You say, oh, no, I'm not wasting my resources on an MR or an SR character. Well, guess what, guys? There's MR units that are currently in the game and that are coming up that are stronger than current UR units. And I've seen people using some of those weaker UR units, um, you know, like Eileen, Rob, Oldie, and Masheri. Uh, you know, those units might as well be MR or SR uh, because they're definitely not up to par with the other ones. So um, I'll make a, a separate video on, you know, which units are good to use. But, you know, people who have raised up their Gafgarian uh, because he's a free unit, you know, uh, grats to you because, you know, he's not going to use up all the... Uh, precious resources that you have and you're going to have more units at higher level and you're going to have a higher chance um, of completing future trials uh, due to having uh, one a, a higher variety of elements and two uh, more units at high level to challenge that so I, I encourage you to you know diversify your elements and diversify your unit types so let's take it off auto so next turn we can check them out real quick um, and I have a couple minutes left, like I said. So again, 50,000 hit points, you know, 62 agility. So he's level 60, guys. You're going to have to have at least 60 across the board. Uh, it shouldn't be any problem uh, for most people right now on Global. But th again, this is only the normal version of the boss. The hard version has twice as many hit points. He's almost 80 agility, and he has higher resistances. Um, why did that close? There you go. I, I must, my fingers are so big. All right, <laughs> Here, here's the resistances. So he's weak against strike. He's weak against, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, strike and slash. Uh, there's so many slash units out there right now, so this shouldn't be a hard boss to take down uh, if you have all the right units. And he's minus 30 against darkness, so that's going to be really strong. Um, a lot of these are 50%. That <laughs> That's a very low chance of actually being hit, and the other ones he's immune to. On hard mode, I checked it out, and the only two uh, was, you know, stop time or steal time, and then whatever this dagger is. All the rest he was completely immune to. Uh, but I was able to stun him, I believe, on normal here with Engelbert's ability. So, um, there, Blade Bash. Can we stun him? Yeah, there he is. He's stunned. So, looks like he is stunnable. Uh, but again, real quick, I just wanted to show you what it looked like. I'm going to go right over to check out the item before the server rolls around. <laughs> All right. So the item looks pretty decent. Um, the only thing is it doesn't look as strong as what we have come to know in FFBE. Um, so right off the bat, you only get five stop and slow resistance right here. And then these are the other base stats. This is critical evasion. This is evasion right here. Uh, I watched on JP, somebody created a plus one that gave them fi up to 15 evasion. So if you don't have the Sage's Hat, uh, when that ev event ends, then this would be very good for you. Um, again, 5% stop and slow resistance is actually a lot more than it looks. But I, th I think that's still kind of weak. I was expecting a, a better item. When it was plus one, all it gained was one evasion. So maybe it goes up to eight evasion. Maybe it's another evasion item and not a status ailment item. I, I would have liked to see 
maybe like when you get plus five, plus five to every status ailment, charm, stop, and everything. Um, but maybe that's not the direction they're going with the game. Or maybe it's too early for them to put in a, a version of the ribbon that is that powerful. But we'll have to see. Um, you know, it's the first day. Nobody has a plus five yet. There's also five star ranks, some items that get more attributes as they level up. So we'll have to see what, how that turns out. All right, guys, but uh, that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks for watching. I hope it was intuitive. Um, if you like future content, you know, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll continue to make videos for you. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time on FFBE War of the Visions. Take care.